Good afternoon, everyone. I understand I have the lucky spot of being the last company to pitch, so I will try to be as energizing as possible with our presentation. Um, so uh, my name is Bora, I'm the co-founder of Kila Health, and for centuries we have been practicing medicine by treating patients who are sick. But two years ago, a team of Duke surgeons, statisticians, and engineers asked ourselves, what if we can predict who's going to be sick and prevent that from happening? What resulted is Kila Health, an application that aims to do just that. Kila Health predicts risk for surgical complications for every patient and every procedure using machine learning. We also modify those risks by integrating best practice preventative interventions right at the surgeon's fingertips. What that looks like is, say, for Mr. Lee, who's coming in for a procedure, the surgeon is able to automatically pull all of the EHR information for Mr. Lee in our application and see that he's high risk for a heart attack after surgery. So the surgeon's able to call a consult for cardiology and promptly start Mr. Lee's heart medications after surgery to modify that high risk. What this allows us to do is decrease complications, decrease costs for the hospital system, and most importantly, provide better care for our patients. So surgical complications are a big problem in America. They occur at 15% um, rate per year, which means that millions of patients are getting complications at about $12,000 per complication. And this is increasing hospital costs to five times what they would be. And literature shows that half of these complications are avoidable. And so the US is spending $45 billion a year in avoidable complications. And this doesn't uh, consider the abstract costs like product, loss of productivity or loss of quality of life. So our team is an interdisciplinary mix of experts in surgery, stats, software, with an advisory board who are influencers in the health system, influencers in the broad surgical network, pioneers in AI and machine learning, as well as innovative technology leaders in and outside of healthcare. Our team is very passionate about taking artificial intelligence and transforming it into active and actionable intelligence at the bedside. So when we dove deeper into the fundamental causes of surgical complications, the first was that the human capacity is limited. The human brain can only analyze about seven discrete data points at any one given time. And so our ability to accurately assess patient risk is limited. The second is that from surgeon to surgeon, they treat their patients um, in different ways, and there's tremendous variability that we see in practice. And then the third is that once these um, professional committees publish guidelines in the medical literature, um, the time between that point of publication to the time of implementation in surgical practice is about five to 10 years. So Kela Health addresses all of these core problems by number one, doing machine learning in order to accurately and objectively assess patient risk that goes beyond one person's human brain capacity. The second is that we take all of those publications of best practice guidelines and integrate it into our application right at the surgeon's fingertips so that they're able to see predictions on their patient and then do something about it. And in this manner, we function as a dissemination and compliance platform that is not seen in the market today. We are a software as a service company that charges an annual subscription fee based on surgical volume. Our core impact is to improve quality of care, which decreases complication rates and so decreases costs for a hospital system. But as we all know, as we move to a value-based care model, we're also able to increase revenues for hospitals as well. So we're currently at a seed stage and we'd like to raise money in order to finish building our enterprise-facing solution to prove integration at Duke and deploy our technologies there, as well as conduct a large randomized control trial. Um, this will allow us to seek our first external sale outside of Duke. We're currently looking for health IT advisors um, who, to add to our advisory board. We're also looking for engineers who are excited and enthusiastic about the machine learning space. And third, we're looking for smart digital health investors whose value will go beyond just their financial con contribution. Um, so we distinguish ourselves from the 
competition because we're able to do high, highly sophisticated machine learning that are on par with high-powered companies like IBM Watson. Uh, we're also at the point of care um, directly affecting clinical decisions right at the point where they're being made. This combination of highly powered analytics as well as um, being right at the point of care is unparalleled. We're already being used at Duke with 200 patients in a clinical trial with 40 Duke surgeons uh, using our application. And the feedback has been that we not only enhance clinical decision making, but we do not disrupt workflow. We've spoken to chairs of surgeries all across the nation, and they confirm the gravity of the problem and the need for a comprehensive solution like ours. Thank you for listening. We are, we're excited to talk to you at the networking reception. Thank you.